Hello guys, so for today's video we are throwing it back a little bit and I am doing a recipe video which I have not done in so long and that's because I live in a dorm room and there's no kitchen so that kind of sucks but since I'm home on break I thought I'd make a little recipe video for you guys. This one is all about breakfast foods, specifically breakfast foods you can make beforehand, the night before or make all at once and save for a couple days. This is great because I don't know about you guys but I love cooking. I just don't like cooking in the morning for breakfast because it just takes a lot of unnecessary time. So these recipes can all be made ahead of time to save you time in the morning. You can sleep in later, spend a little bit more time getting ready. I know personally I love that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed these recipes and without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we are making are these veggie omelet bites. So these are actually super customizable and you can pretty much make them however you want. So I really like loaded vegetable omelets with turkey bacon. So I just cut up all those ingredients in small bits and then put them into a bowl all together. You could also do just bacon and cheese, just vegetables, literally whatever you like in your omelets. Just cut that up and put that into a bowl. Then you can just mix that all together and season it with salt, pepper, whatever you like in your omelets. Then just take out a cupcake tin and spray that with some ham oil and then spoon in your ingredients filling it about two-thirds three-quarters of the way up after that you can just pour in your egg whites until they're completely full and stick them in the oven at 400 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes when they're done they should kind of rise up to look a little bit like muffins and if you just run a fork around the edge they'll come out pretty easily since you spray them with oil and that's it these stay fresh in the refrigerator for up to five days and they're actually super easy to reheat too all you have to do is put them in the microwave for one minute and they're perfect and they make for a super nice and healthy breakfast next up i have this super easy cinnamon chia pudding recipe so to make this, all you're going to, need to do is combine three tablespoons to four tablespoons of chia seeds in a mason jar or bowl. And then add in a teaspoon of cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of syrup, and a dash of vanilla. Then one cup of milk for every three tablespoons of chia seeds you use. And then just mix that all together until everything is equally combined. You can then just seal up your jar or bowl and put that in the refrigerator overnight or for at least five or six hours. And in the morning you will have a nice pudding-like consistency and you can top it with whatever kind of fruit or nuts you want. I just put on some coconut chips and bananas and that's it. The next recipe I have for you guys is some peanut butter granola. So to make this, we're gonna to wanna to combine two cups of easy oats, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a pinch of salt, and then just mix that all together and set aside. And then in another bowl, combine six tablespoons of peanut butter and a quarter cup of honey and mix that together. Then you can just put that in the microwave and heat it up and stir it until it's kind of like a liquidy consistency. You can also do this over the stove. Next, mix in half a teaspoon of vanilla and then combine your wet and dry ingredients. And then to mix this together, you can use some kind of spatula or spoon, but honestly, I think using your hands is probably the easiest because you want to make sure that everything is incorporated evenly and it gets a little sticky. So your hands are probably the best bet here. Once everything is all mixed together, you can just flatten it out on a baking sheet. oven at 325 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes and once the oats are out of the oven and cooled you can just scoop them into any kind of airtight jar and store in your pantry for up to like I think two or three weeks should be good and you can eat them by themselves put it on some yogurt on smoothie bowls you can put it in milk and eat it like cereal however you want this is a super great protein filled breakfast and it'll last you a long time too and last but not least, probably one of my favorite recipes it is blueberry almond overnight oats. So to make this, all you need to do is combine one cup of oats, a tablespoon of chia seeds, half a cup of sliced almonds, two tablespoons of honey for some sweetness. You can also use maple syrup, two cups of almond milk or any kind of plant-based milk, and one cup of blueberries. You can then just mix that all together and pop that in the fridge overnight or at least for about six hours. And once it's done, it'll be nice and thick and you can eat it for breakfast, topped with some blueberries or almonds, whatever you want. And that's it. This is a super nice filling breakfast and especially if you have a bit of a sweet tooth, it's gonna be so yummy in the morning. And this recipe makes about two servings of the oatmeal. So you can actually put it in the refrigerator and save it for up to three to four days and it'll be just as good every time. 
hope you all enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. I post new videos every single Saturday. I also have an Instagram and a Twitter, both at Ella underscore elbows. So go ahead and follow me, both of those, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!